No be matter what be this. If I don't get that motor today, your papa, he go down. Almost everyone has the problem of deciding what movie to watch from Netflix's huge catalogue of films. Just as you're about deciding on the one to pick, you see another title that is almost literally screaming, Peek Me! If you're like most, you end up making a terrible choice. With the number of Nollywood movies growing, it is harder to pick quality from a sea of draws. We've put together a list of Nollywood films to watch to save yourself from some really less not so thrilling choices. Here are 10 Nollywood films you should absolutely watch on Netflix. King of Boys Kemia Deitiba's King of Boys is the almost three hour crime thriller you didn't know you needed. The story follows the life of Elijah in Yola Salami, who schemes to get political power but has to deal with mutiny within the underworld group she leads. The movie packs some greed, but it's got some comic relief too, in case you want a dose of laughter. Mama, we need to see you. Living in Bandage, Breaking Free. The sequel to 1992 Nollywood cult classic Living in Bondage certainly doesn't disappoint. The protagonist's quest for wealth sees him join a cult. The money rolls in with fast cars, private jets, and a hearth rub, but things get to head when the court requests a sacrifice too great. Mr. Richard! Yeah! Amazing party you have here. Lionheart. Lionheart certainly gained more popularity after it was disqualified by the Academy for having too much English dialogue. But it doesn't detract from the brilliant work first-time director Genevieve Naji did on the film. Lionheart spins a tale of a woman saving a father's company after being overlooked as a successor of the company, perhaps because she's a woman. So given our current situation, can you tell us how bad the numbers are? Bad. Lionheart is in severe debt. 950 million naira. What? The setup. If you're one for thrillers with intelligent plot twist, Nia Kimo Lyons' The Setup leaves you in knots. The film is filled with high level scheming that leaves you exhausted but satisfied at the film's end. That's a risky strategy. Adam? Otorayo. Listen, I know it seems. Elevator Baby. Aside from the imperfect CGI work showing the mechanical part of the elevator, Elevator Baby is the perfect feel-good movie. A troubled youth finds himself stuck in an elevator with a crass pregnant lady. Things get more interesting when he has to deliver the baby. Please, It's a okay. Jadio Shiba's rom-com hits that sweet spot that leaves you mushy and in need of some love. The titula character Isake is 34, successful but unmarried. Now she needs to make a choice between two suitors, a Nigerian man and an Oyibo man. Oh, I don't know, but Kevin... I just feel like... This one, why they look me like this? Fine taste for boys now. Oh no, today dry. The Delivery Boy. Perhaps there is another story to every bomb blast as the delivery boy poses. A Dekule No Dash, a Daydream based film tells the story of Ami, a conflicted terrorist on an assignment to blow up a hospital but needs to face and resolve sexual abuse issues from his past. You say make I take you go somewhere. Waiting you won't go to for that please. You know constrain me. Fourth Republic. In a country where politics is riddled with corruption and violence, Fourth Republic serves a fitting commentary. The political thriller thrusts a strong, conscientious female governorship candidate into the spotlight as she battles to claim a political mandate. There is fire in you that I really like. Will he risk to be stupid? Objection! Object war! Kasala. Kassala, literally translated as trouble, leaves you with a giddy feeling you can't shake off as you follow the life of four Lakers boys that are also to repair a car they had crashed. What's more troublesome is that the car belongs to a strict uncle of one of the boys. Sylvia. 
What happens when you break up with a spirit wife? Things become even trickier when the spirit wife has contributed to your progress. Sylvia is the dark thriller that handles spirituality deftly without leaving you scratching your head. I came to tell you that this has to end. Getting married to her next Saturday. I know that. I know that we had some good times. There you go with 10 Nollywood movies on Netflix you should totally watch. Let us know in the comments which of the movies you enjoyed.